The following is a review by Keith Cheatham. From self-proclaimed permanent teenager Seth Rogen and Jeff Rowe, co-director of The Mitchells vs. The Machines, comes the latest adaptation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And while it may not have dethroned Barbie at the box office, it has received plenty of praise from critics and audiences alike. Based on the characters created by Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is yet another reboot of the franchise. Under the creative wing of Seth Rogen, a longtime fan of the property, the film is full of his distinctly juvenile and sometimes crass sense of humor, leaning heavily into the teenage part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. While most iterations depict the turtles in their late teen years, with the characters looking and sounding more like adults than teens, Rogan and Roe instead have chosen to make the turtles younger and high school aged. Voiced by actual teenagers, the movie is a stereotypical fish out of water story, with the turtles learning to find a place in the world they can be accepted while taking down villainous forces. Keeping with this theme, April O'Neil has been aged down. No longer a local news reporter, April is now a high school journalist who dreams of becoming a big time reporter. When TCRI head scientist Cynthia Utrum sends a strike force after rogue scientist Baxter Stockham, who has created a mutagenic ooze and an array of mutants. Stockham's creations escape and a vial of ooze is dropped into the sewers. Most viewers can guess what happens from there and the movie jumps forward several years to our now Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Blending humor and action, Mutant Mayhem is a visually fun film. With similar animation and art styles to Mitchell's vs. the Machines and the Spider-Verse films from Sony, Mutant Mayhem has plenty to keep the kids entertained and makes casual parents going for a nostalgia trip chuckle. While I was not initially fond of the Turtles having such noticeably younger voices, each actor did well and it fit the overall themes of the story. Ice Cube specifically as villain Superfly was hilarious. Even while being a fairly well-made film, Mutant Mayhem never fully pulled me in. The fish out of water tropes have been done better, even in other Ninja Turtle films. Rogan, who himself has stated his career has been made out of outcast teen films, has nothing new to offer with these themes and stories. The film just seemed to lack the heart and substance I felt it needed to make an endearing and heartwarming version of the characters. Instead, Splinter, who in past versions was much more rational about why the turtles must remain in the shadows, full-on hates humanity and is treated often as a joke. Even when the turtles come to their moment of learning to respect Splinter, it never seems justified, and he's never made to seem wise. Past iterations of the franchise have ranged from mature and adult material to all-out Saturday morning children's cartoon. Mutant Mayhem lands at PG, but is a strong PG, towing the line heavily. The film didn't have enough depth or substance to keep me as an adult fully satisfied. However, it included enough innuendo that it felt a bit mature for younger children. It's humorous and not blatantly preachy or attempting to browbeat woke messaging, but it also doesn't offer anything edifying or new to the franchise. Sure, it's a fair bit better than Michael Bay's produced monstrosity, and I'm sure it will be a hit with the kids. Perhaps I'm just tired of the cookie cutter infinitely rehashed franchises. I give Mutant Mayhem two and a half out of four stars.